it's Jessica from Tinsita Johnson and we're back with a new tutorial today with double dutch braid and I would like to show you how to pancake it. If you are new on our channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. For parting, you are going to take a four finger wide section and you make it a bit longer than just the top of the head. So go over the highest point of the head and it's a rectangle shape, even one cannot see it so good here. And uh, because we do four fingers wide, it's going to be a bit wider than normal, you see here. So it's over the outer edge from each eyebrow and then uh, behind just go straight, make a real rectangle. these two sections out of the way, tie up the rest of the hair so that it won't bother you while you're braiding the top and then I'm going to show you now how I prepare the first part that I'm going to braid. So I'm using water and then some oil, this time I have the fructis oil, often we use nearly mostly the one from L'Oreal, it's a good alternative to those expensive Oregon oils. And what I do really like is that you don't see your hair oily. In the front you have a little round shape, so take the section, the first section of hair as wide that you get the full width of the rectangle and then split it into three equal strands please. So if you have to adjust, please do so. And we're going to start to bring the outer strand, the left one under the middle and then the right one under the middle. Again, the left one under the middle and now you take from the part line, from the outer part line, a portion of hair until the middle of your rectangle that you parted off at the beginning and you add it to that strand. Now bring right under and add in hair again from the middle part line until the middle. So half of the hair that you're going to add in is always coming from the right and the other half is coming from the left. Now bring again the left strand under and add in hair and make sure that you always start to take the hair from the part line. Like this, you make sure that your braid looks neat. And also, I know it takes long sometimes braiding, but really the braid looks neater and more beautiful if you take little sections. As this is a normal Dutch braid and I explained so many times, I'm going to speed this up because I want to show you the next step, the pancaking. For pancaking, don't take the first stitch close to your hand, take the second and then start to pull the outer edges. Really just pull some hairs at the outside of the stitch and feather these out. This makes the braid look wider. Now keep on braiding. I do this one more stitch to change the position of my hand and in between please make sure that your stitches that your strands are not tangled so brush them through here i'm adding in the hair directly and now hold down your hand here my right side hand that what you see on the right side and pull again the outer edges with the outer hand so you will see while you pull that the hair beneath in the stitches closer to your hand will also loosen up a bit. This is why well. you should do this gently and with a bit of patience, take your time at the very beginning and remember that every hair reacts differently. It is easier when the hair is really straight. So curly hair does not pancake so flat like you see it here on Trencita's braid, it will loosen up and looks absolutely different. Then when you have done this, do some more stitches before you pancake again. Here you see that I really always make sure to go until the part line so that this one is going to look neat. And then you will have to pancake again.
show you the angle from behind just to explain you that it's a regular Dutch braid. There's nothing complicated to what you're going to practice with this hairstyle is the pancaking part. So just braid until the very end. Do two, three, four stitches and then hold and pancake and then do again some stitches, hold and pancake as long as you are achieve the result that you want to have. So you can always make it bigger, but remember you cannot make it smaller. Sometimes you will have to open if you overdid it and you will have to braid it again. So the right side is exactly the same. There is not much to explain. From this side, I'm going to show you later a bit better the part from down and the rest is repetitive. Remember that I always start from the outer side. Please make two braids look the same. That is important later for the pancaking part because one sees where you brought first under the strand. I leave you with this. Just keep on watching and practice. daughter's hair is quite long so this style takes a while if you reach the end you can hide the elastic with a strand of hair like I did it here release the deep ponytail and you have your final result I really like these styles because it just looks different because of the pancaking two simple Dutch braids and uh, yeah if you like this tutorial don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, get more inspiration on Facebook, Instagram or on Pinterest and here just some photos. Oh, I also show you here how to change the style into two little double buns by just wrapping them around like we'd like to do it often and yeah, hope to see you. Find more inspiration, more styles on our accounts and love to see you back here next Wednesday. Bye bye.